Hi everybody, in this video I want to talk about Faraday's Law and its importance to the generation of electricity. Alright, so Faraday's Law says that if you have a changing magnetic flux passing through a loop, you induce a voltage. Alright, one way to really simply do that is to have a loop of wire in a magnetic field. Uh, in this orientation, there's no flux passing through it, but then if you just rotate the loop, then you get the maximum amount of flux. Rotate it some more, uh, no flux. Rotate it some more, uh, maximum amount of flux going the other way. All right, the faster you rotate the loop, the faster you're going from no flux to maximum flux and so on. All right, so you just turn the loop. So all you need to do to generate electricity is to get something to turn the loops for you. Uh, we don't want to stand here and turn the crank ourselves. Uh, we want nature to turn it for us, or we want some other process to turn it for us. All right, so for example, um, we could get the wind to turn the crank for us. All, all, all a wind turbine is is some mechanism to use the wind to turn the, the handle on the crank for us so we don't have to do it ourselves. Inside here, there are loops of wire being rotated in a magnetic field. Or it could be the other way around. Could be magnets being rotated around loops of wire. Same difference. All right, uh, hydroelectric power, same thing. We use the water to turn the crank for us. Uh, Fossil fuels, coal, natural gas, uh, those are used uh, to heat, to, to we burn them, to heat up uh, steam, to heat water, make steam. That steam passes through some turbine, some, you know, basically propeller system uh, that turns, uh, that rotates loops of wire and magnetic field or vice versa, uh, and we generate electricity that way. Nuclear power is used to do the same thing. It's just another way to heat stuff up, uh, to boil water or something else, uh, and have it turn a turbine uh, and rotate loops of wire in a magnetic field. All right, so all these things ultimately are using Faraday's law, and, and they're using Faraday's law by rotating loops of wire in a magnetic field or rotating magnets around loops of wires. The overwhelming majority of the world's electricity uh, is produced in this fashion. Uh, the one example, uh, sorry, the one counter example is solar power. It uses another mechanism. It doesn't use Faraday's law. All right, so hope that's interesting. Thanks for watching.